Morning. Beautiful lake bled. Look at her. How nice. Beautiful sunny morning. Rather early, like half ten, let's say. I'm pretty fed. Never fed enough, though. I could do with some of this picnic I have right here. So we're going to bring this up and today's plan to climb up on top of a mountain and get a good viewpoint. See if we can see some something crazy in the wild. Maybe some snakes, maybe some bears. I'm good, I don't want to see a bear, I'm all right. A snake, i will do. We can see something wild, see if we see anything crazy. Or maybe I'm the craziest one in this jungle. Let's find out. Let's go hike up the mountain and make a good day of it. Let's have a good day. I don't think the day would start off by walking on the wrong side of the road in the cycling lane. Just realised I've been walking off five minutes even while I started the video. I should be over there. But... Screw the rules. Here's our entrance by the looks of it. <laughs> I forgot the map, didn't I? Ah, anyways, we can follow the trails, but I'm just thinking... Because... This is how I realized we have to get to here. I have the map. I had the map. It tells me this should be, from what I remember, this should be our way up. Can't see from here. I haven't got my glasses. Okay. Oh, this one is 45 minutes. Let's do it. Let's see what we see. Oh, never thought of this very camping spot, actually. Keep our eyes open for tonight. And we begin our ascension. In advance, apologize for the heavy breathing. You're gonna, all you're gonna hear is. <sighs> I'm gonna have to cut that out. Well, I mean, it's a different story going up here, but I breathe real heavy. Now that I point this out, you're gonna notice in all the videos, way more. I breathe real heavy. I got a problem with my nose, so I'm breathing like double. Out through my mouth all the time. My mouth's doing all the nose's work, so. I got the wrong way already. Let's find out. So, yeah, I'm gonna be like behind the camera, I'm gonna be like, look, look at this lovely view. And then. Try not to be gasping for the entire time. I don't want that to be all the sound effects we have. Okay. I don't even know how to, how do you say? Slovenia in Slovenian. I don't even know what language they talk. If it is Slovenian, is this somebody's property? This looks like somebody's property. Because there was, there was two ways. Now I hear voices. All right, let's continue. Came up with an idea. We'll play a game of guess the food. You hear that? It's me chewing on something. What do you think it is? Have a guess. Now you have sound effects that isn't me breathing. No, I'm probably breathing even louder right now. I'm trying to chew. I don't know, it's the best I can think of. Have a whole picnic here though. That game could keep us going for a while. There we go. One is down and one is up. Huh. No. Was that the same one that said 40 minutes? And now it's 20. So suppose we kill 20 minutes. It took like five. I don't know. How slow they were walking up this when they planned how long it would take. Anyways, this is easy work. You know me. Fit as a fiddle. Just a big heavy breather by nature. Doesn't mean nothing. I could walk, I could jog up this thing. I could walk up this thing backward. I could jog up this thing backward. Easy. See that swim I did yesterday? I could swim up this thing at a jogging pace backwards. That's what I could do. Let's continue on. It's time we stop and admire this view. You like it? It's, it's me. Here's the rail view.
What a beauty, huh? Honestly, I think when I came to Blad, I instantly did fall in love with this place. Honestly, did. It's just, I don't know, just such a vibe about it. It's not like overly tourist. Then again, I'm here during COVID and it's a lot quieter now, so they say. But I'm also mid September. But instantly, there's just this vibe of like peace and not, it's not over touristy. It hasn't got like clubs everywhere, for, at least from what I've seen. Like it has nice bars and it's just so chill. Like you just want to come here with your friends, do your camping, maybe stay at your hostel, go down to that bar, take a few walk around the lake, and cycle around it and probably do the whole thing probably in half an hour. Uh, walking, I don't know. <laughs> a lot a lot a lot longer, but it's just so so beautiful and night. You've seen all the the lights and all stand out and everything about it. You just get them vibes. Just pure tranquility and chill. Hi, how are you? And I just yeah, it's unexplainable. As soon as I got here, I was like, wow. It's, even at night time, it's just you you feel like you have everything here, and then that's your center of attention. It's like everything revolves around that lake. Everything, everyone's out swimming around the lake and doing their own thing. But that's like the focus, and it's just so nice. Everyone just has that as a go-to, go swimming, and the most. The nicest place I've been for swimming, I have to, I have to say, and the furthest I have swam out, just feel comfortable, like you're in a lake. Some people are afraid, including me sometimes. The sea, like, you know, you don't, you don't know what's out there, even though there's nothing out there, in, in most cases, or most places. Hello. Hello. And, uh, in most cases, there's not, there's nothing out there. But, you know, you know, uh, you've got that extra guarantee, and the peace of mind, at least, in a lake, in the lake, a couple of big fish. Yeah, it's sweet. You can't go far. You know how big it is. Really, really do recommend. And it's it's funny because you go to some place and you're like some little small cities and you're like, oh, I wouldn't recommend to stay a long time because it hasn't got that much. It's like Bled doesn't have that much, but it kind of has all you need. It just has these views that you. You don't get sick of. You could just sit, like, come here for seven days and sit on a different side of the lake each day to sunbathe or swim from. You know, it's just, it's all you need, I think, for a place like this. Just to be, it's just so good. It's so nice just to walk around that lake and pick a, a different restaurant to, to eat in each night or a different bar to go to. Just not comparable to other cities or towns or whatever, whatever. Although I suppose cities, you in most cases, you only need a couple of days. Anyways, you don't need a lot, but I like to move on, see more stuff, but here, Bled, I was gonna stay for one night and it's been my second night, so, you know what I mean? And I'm happy now, I don't know. See what we see, maybe we meet some people and I could stay longer. So, I'm happy. I'm happy just to say, hey, I'm here. I'm not worried about the rest of my journey, where I'm going. Happy where I am right now. Let's go. Excuse me. To call up that one. Real Jurassic Park scenes or or King Kong vibes rather. The King Kong jungle in it. Getting a bit more wild. Got some of that rock is the top. This isn't the most stable looking, is it? One old nail into a a rotten old tree root. Works for the time being. Till she breaks. I'm gonna go up here and then along them fences up there. Keep her lit. <laughs> what? Are you messing? <laughs> What's that? A ladder? That's not a staircase. 
Look! I've never seen anything like that in my life. Look how steep that is. It's literally... Look at that rock. It says you're just running like that, up the rock. You cut a bit of the rock out and threw a few steps on. Anyways, how are you? Alright, let's do it. Ah, they have a handrail. Makes everything so much easier. Look at that, man. I've, that's, that's like a ladder when you get further up. I know these cameras don't show it off. Jesus. Oh, you can feel like gravity. Maybe that's the picnic flying back. <laughs> man. I'm a fan of heights either, and I only have one hand. Look at that. What? Ooh. I didn't want to look down. Fall back there. You're dead. Jeez, that's rough looking down. I'm <laughs> hogging on to this thing for life, me man. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm mad for the heights. Look at this. <laughs> very risky. Especially with the whole picnic thing. Hanging out with me. That is mine. Look. <laughs> She's crying. Man. That's gonna be me. I'm gonna have this thing on my head. Sliding down that handrail. Anyways, welcome to Bled. <laughs> what a beauty. I'm out on the lake now, we're the lake. I think we found our spot for lunch. Suits me. That's insane. I keep saying this whenever st like stuff happens. I'm like, this is the first experience for this or that. This is the biggest waterfall I've ever seen. This is the furthest I ever swam. This is the most steep stairs I ever climbed. It's all true. It's crazier and crazier stuff happens. New, more new experiences. That's what I turn myself into. Lunch with a view. Go on up because this isn't the top. Apparently, a lot of people have passed me and they keep going and they haven't came back yet. So this is a really steep cliff edge up here. And that's the reason. Let's find out. We're at the top. Six hundred and eighty-five. That's what we're up right now. All right. So there's several viewpoints around here, but this one supposedly and evidently does it the best. So there's more around here, but you can you can't see much. Just forest and stuff. There you go. There's a view from the top. That's all you have there. You can see the entirety of the lake. Anyways, let's make our way down and go swimming. All right, and we leave on a different route back. We came from that way over there. Let's go this way. See where this spits us out. Look at the campsite. That's where I'm trying to get. I locked my bike down there somewhere. Up against a tree around there somewhere so I could come up from here. So I went around and around and up that hill. I was on the other side of that hill getting a view. And I've came down and then back up this hill. So Find me a way down. I could deal with a parachute right now. I found, turns out I found camp, camp spot number two for tonight on the way back down right here. Yeah, all I need to do is throw a, a, a tent on my back, blow up bed on my back, walk up that little hill. I think the campsite should be right there. 
So you can leave the, the, the bike lock down there. The deal breaker right there for me. Now, where are we? Hmm. Oh, we have the campsite right here. Lake now, it will jump straight in. I think it is one of my favorite or favorite places to swim, for sure. So clean. You're not gonna find a jellyfish in there. Gorgeous, and people so far out with laughs. Beauty all around. You're now about to witness what the King Classic tastes like. To be honest, the one I got yesterday was the nicest ice cream I ever had in my life. It was so good. So, it's only right that we try this one out. This is the classic one, it sounds boring, I know. This is a pretty normal ice cream. Have you ever come across these suckers? I think it's a black, blackish, darkish colored packet. King and oh man, it was so good. It was like this texture was like crunchy on the outside. On the inside, they had three different things they had a chocolate on one side, and then a really like brownie type chocolate texture almost on the inside, and then another layer I think was the wh a white layer, and then you had the outside part too. The best ice cream I ever had. This is okay. I picked classic. I don't know why I made such a stupid decision. I want to try something else though. There you go. King, get one if you're in town. Why don't you get that swim I've been talking about all day? All right, the finished product. The dinner. I've had spaghetti for days and I just didn't cook it with anything. I don't know, it just wasn't bothered by minced meat. All the minced meat was to serve like four people and stuff. So here I finally found like kind of a butcher counter so I can choose how much meat I want. I mean, one way to eat spaghetti and it's like that. Mm. Not bad. The workstation is a bit of a mess. But yeah, it's good. So. We'll see what happens. I met a girl earlier when I was locking my bike up at the campsite. A nice German girl who was here with her parents. So I started talking to her and uh, we may hang out this evening. So we're going to meet up and just have a bit of fun together, you know? It's good. I've been a few days anyways. Uh, non -so not so sociable around here. It's been quiet. So it's nice to meet somebody nice and just go hang out and see what antics we get up to, you know? Have a bit of crack. So that's it. Shine it on me, see, can you see? Huh? Shine it on me, see on the screen, can you see it? Can you see me? Yeah. Can you actually? But just the part I'm putting the light on. What about when I jump in? Don't drop that in though. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> okay, let's go. She dare me to do it. In the <laughs> rain. We were wet anyway. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> you can't see you. I can't see you. Oh yeah, no. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this is Hi. a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so cold. There. Oh, there we go. Illegal camper. She caught this wild German woman <laughs> sleeping in between these monkey bars up on Lake Bled. <laughs> I'm here to ask you a few questions. <laughs> what are you doing up here? <laughs> Can you get down please? Or are you just gonna prove your incredible masculinity? <laughs> Showing off how strong you are. What are you gonna do? Get down here and beat me up? I'm the park ranger of this town. That's right. 
I have to get the beer in and the iconic ham and cheese sandwich with tomato ketchup on the side. What a strange topping for tomato. Do you want to be in it? Yeah, absolutely lashing out. We went for a swim and it was all good. Got out, dried off pretty good, hopped into our clothes, grand. We're gonna climb up to the castle up there, which you can't see on this GoPro. But uh, decided to come to this bar, got a few drinks, and now it starts last remain, so suits us perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's you now about 10 minutes will be sweet. It'll stop raining and head up to that castle and make a noise. But anyways, I think that's it. Signing off. <laughs> For a mad day, good buzz all together. Loving life like what? Well, you didn't say anything. I couldn't understand. <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't know what I'm saying. She speaks perfect English but not Irish at a fast pace. Irish English at a fast pace. Because when I'm speaking to her I'm slowing it down and making it more uh, intelligible. But uh, <laughs> I guess when I'm speaking to the camera or myself I'm just uh, so it's not understanding. Anyways, to a good night.